Welcome to the free flight area. This lesson gives you an opportunity to roam the training area, practicing whatever you feel you need to work on. There's Experiment with your new sensors to gain familiarity with them. This knowledge will prove invaluable in combat. Welcome to the free flight area. This lesson gives you an opportunity to roam the training There's a variety of targets around for your shooting pleasure. Or you can just fly to gain proficiency piloting the aircraft. Experiment with your new sensors to gain familiarity with them. This knowledge will prove invaluable in combat. There is one thing I'd like to touch on before I let you go, and that is auto-rotation. As you know, your helicopter does not include an ejection seat. But there is a way to potentially cheat death when you crash, and that is an auto-rotation. Assume you're flying along and your aircraft becomes damaged to the point where it can no longer fly and you know you're going in. This is the time to perform an auto-rotation. The first thing to do is to disengage your rotor. This allows the rotor to continue to spin because of the continued airflow over the rotor blades, providing a little bit of lift. As you continue to lose altitude and approach the ground, Try to keep your airspeed between 60 and 100 knots and the nose of the aircraft slightly high. When you're about 50 feet from the ground, quickly pull full collective. This will cause the rotor blades to take a large bite into the air, drastically slowing the chopper down. If you time this right, the bite will slow you down enough to allow you to survive the impact. Remember, the Apache is designed to survive an impact of 40 feet per second. The auto-rotation is a difficult maneuver and requires lots of practice, but it will save your life when performed correctly. Okay, that's all I have to say at this time. Practice for as long as you choose. When finished, hit the escape key to end your free flight.
Engaging with cannon. Engaging with cannon. Engaging with cannon.